In this year's climate change report by the U.S. government, Colorado was mentioned several times, and part of it focused on how the bark beetle is destroying forests here because the winters just aren't cold enough to kill them off before the springtime. There have been studies about what the bark beetle does to trees, but Colorado Parks and Wildlife researchers also wanted to find out what the impact was on wildlife. Katie Eastman is here to explain that study. Katie? Yeah, and Kim, the researchers wanted to find out if dead trees have changed the population of animals who live in Colorado's forests. In order to do that, they set up cameras and captured pictures like this one using a highly scientific method to lure them close, peanut butter. 300 cameras captured 300,000 photos. Yeah, quite a few. 26 different species in all of the animals who live around the trees killed by the bark beetle. One here, kind of a cute one of a, of a deer and fawn. Colorado Parks and Wildlife researchers counted every deer, elk, moose, and bear. Yeah, the worst um, the habitat had been affected by the bark beetle, the more down timber, the more the elk seemed to actually really like it. Deer and moose seemed to like it too. Travis Duncan with CPW says they were surprised by this information. The opening up of the forest canopy actually let smaller plants that they forage on grow you know, on the forest floor. There was just one animal they didn't get a lot of photos of. I, I would suppose you'd call them the losers of, of this um, different habitat would be red squirrels. Uh, we found that their population actually went down. Lynx also live in these forests, and when their primary snack of the snowshoe hare isn't available, Red squirrels are a good meal. Well, it definitely got me thinking, I guess, about the, the lynx reintroduction that we did 20 years ago. I think the study gave us a little more information, and but it also raised other questions. Questions like, will the lynx population suffer? And what about the marten? What are they eating, if not squirrels? And the lead researcher is already working on a follow-up study to look into the lynx population. Hopefully, there are more adorable photos like these involved. We hope so. You, that wildlife is just another whole consideration to take into, you know, when you think about that. We all know about the beetle and what's done to trees. Exactly, yeah. All right, thank you, Katie.